Hello guys and welcome to your 40 second Java tutorial on interfaces and all the stuff that has uh, to do with that awesome topic. Uh, are you guys excited? Oh yeah, I can feel you excited. Uh, which is great because interfaces are very, very helpful. Let's go ahead on to our Java is Epic package, go to new and interface, which is uh, different. And let's go ahead and create a food item interface. Now at this point you're probably asking yourself, what exactly is an interface? How is it useful? What, 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 what's going on here? And uh, to that I would reply that it's best to think of an interface as a prototype or as the plans for a future class that you will create from this class. And what I mean by that is that uh, in our interface we can create as many methods as you want. Really, we can create tons and tons of methods, but we cannot create method bodies. So in a class, we usually create a method, and then we also give it a, uh, you know, a code body or some code to execute. In the interface, however, we will have no code for our methods. By that I mean, uh, so our food item, let's, let's create a few methods. By that I mean if we create a public string get name method we clearly see that uh, we end the line with a semicolon and no curly braces meaning there is no code body for these methods here we will also have a public string get texture and another fantastic public string get color and by the way we can also have constants in here so we can declare I don't know int i or some crap whatever and uh, yeah, since it's a constant, it has to be, I don't know, set equal to a value. And uh, even though you don't have, you don't put final in front of the int here, the interface still interprets this i as a constant. And that is because the interface, it has all of your variables, it automatically converts into constants, so it automatically puts final in front of all of the variables you create in this food item, and it automatically puts abstract in front of all of your classes, sorry, all of your methods. So if it automatically does it, there's really no need to put abstract uh, there explicitly. And why is this exactly? Well, this is because any other class that implements this food item has to have all of the methods that we have here. So essentially what we're doing here is we're creating a plan for a future class that say we can't build at this point because we don't have enough time or we just can't we don't we don't have all of the resources to build this class and what usually happens in the programming industry is you have at the start of a development project you create interfaces for all of your classes just to get a general idea or a general plan of what's going on and then you have all of your other actual classes that implement these interfaces. And when you were creating your plan, you realize uh, when you're implementing that you have to have all of these different things. So you can just throw this in an interface, forget about it, and then you come back to it later and you're like, oh, I think I have to have you know, a get name method or a get texture method. And that actually helps out a lot. So in the planning phase of your project. So let's go ahead and remove this uh, constant. We don't need that. I don't need that. And uh, let's go ahead and create another class in this Java is Epic package. This class is going to be an Apple class, and it is going to implement our fantastic food item interface. So we are going to write Apple implements food item. So you may, oh yeah, and we're getting an error because uh, we need to implement all of those methods, all those abstract methods in that uh, interface. And you're probably thinking, hey, what's the difference between implements and extends, right? So we're kind of getting this stuff from this, this class or this interface with either keyword, right? Well, the main difference between the implements and the extends keyword is that implements is used with an interface. Generally in the programming industry, implements is only used with interfaces, whereas extends can be used with classes. So in this case, since we're using a food item interface, we are using the implements. Uh, keyword. So let's go ahead and uh, let's use Eclipse to add unimplemented methods and um, let's go quickly type some crap up, I don't know. Return, I don't know, apple, lol, and um, string get texture. Let's return uh, smooth, 
I don't, I don't, I don't know, man. Smooth, silky smooth, silky smooth, baby. Yeah. All right. Um, get color. Let's return. I don't know, freaking green. All right. Fantastic, fantastic. I've never seen better code in my life. So now that we've actually implemented this food item interface, um, I want to move on to the next topic uh, in our interfaces. And that topic is multiple interfaces. So what exactly do I mean by multiple interfaces? Well, let's go ahead and create multiple interfaces to find out. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, wait. Oh, snap. I just hit class instead of interface. That was kind of a fail. Really hoping for a, for a better I better start there, but uh, besides the fact we have a, um, so aside from that fact, we have a fruit item interface created right now. I'm, I'm not sure what aside, aside from what fact I was talking about there, but <laughs> um, all right. Public interface fruit item. What's going on here? So we in this public interface we have, let's say a public uh, Boolean is citrus. So is this fruit item, is it a citrus or is it not a citrus? And I guess that's really it for now. That's all I can really think of. I won't go too complex on this fruit item interface, but let's say that we wanted our apple to implement both the food item interface and the fruit item interface. How would we do that? Well, we can actually do that simply by putting a comma right here. And we could uh, make our Apple implement both the food item and the fruit item interfaces. Let's go ahead, add unimplemented methods, and shebang! We got our is citrus method right here. And we're going to return false. All right, awesome. And uh, yeah, that's, that's really all you had to do. You just have to put a comma between your interfaces to actually implement from them. And the same works with the extends keyword. You can extend from multiple classes using the same comma method. And um, we can also create sub interfaces, so called sub interfaces, so interfaces that extend from other interfaces. Um, and we can essentially just go on creating this hierarchy of interfaces that define a ton of our stuff, a ton of items, or a ton of, I don't know, whatever is really, whatever uh, stuff you're using in your class. So let's go ahead and quickly create an Apple instance A, set that equal to a new Apple. And let's go ahead and print out a nice formatted message. Um, I am an, and then we of course use our fantastic get name method. I am an blank. I am. Um, let's use a dot get texture there. And and have the color of let me move this little thing here over so you guys can see what I'm typing even though I can't see I have the color of um, a dot get color and and am a and we're just kind of gonna um, just kind of kind of gonna say is citrus plus citrus. There we go. Beautiful. Never seen a more beautiful, well-formatted message in my life. All right, so now that we have done that successfully, let's go ahead and run this piece of work and let's see what we get. And shebang, hit that play button. And look at this. I am an Apple lol. I am sil silky smooth and have the color of class java is epic dot app apple and i am a false citrus wow that is like grammar over 9000 right there i mean wow holy crap um i think we kind of screwed up on that color uh <laughs> on that color implementation uh yeah or whatever we typed here i don't know we typed some some crap oh get class instead of get color Wow, fail. All right, either way, guys, thank you very much for watching this tutorial on interfaces. I hope you have a better understanding of interfaces, as we will be using them in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day, and peace.